today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cryptography YouTuber and today it is the first day that I'm filming 2022. I don't think this will be the first video because I'm a little bit behind. I'm going to do one of these get ready with me talking whatever is on my mind and also a first impression. I have actually bought my second Natasha Denona palette and now you might be like, your second? I actually did buy <laughs> this little mini love palette that people seem to you people seem to love. I used it, tried to film a video, it didn't turn out great so I, I never uploaded it on YouTube. I did not like this one. And then you might wonder why do you buy a big Natasha Denona palette? Because I actually did decluttering this one. I haven't got rid of the decluttering palettes yet. Whatever. Um, I don't know, but I bought a retro. <laughs> and if you don't know, the retro palette looks like this. And th no, this is not like my typical kind of eyeshadow palette. But that is why I bought it, and it was on sale on Sephora, so I was like, what the fudge, I just buy it. So it's here, I'm going to do a look with this, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this year. What I'm doing on YouTube, and maybe not what I'm doing, but yeah, we will just have to see where this is going. And I don't know if you can see my computer in the background. I've been you doing YouTube for a while now. I haven't remembered to empty my memory card, so I have like nine minutes on this card and emptying in the other one, so <laughs> oopsie. But it's taking a while because it was completely full and uh, my computer is getting really, really tired. I really should buy a new computer, but it costs money and I do not want to spend those money right now. And now in 2022 I am trying to do a no-buy and we will see how this will go. Okay, maybe I should just try to do this and not talk while I'm doing this. Yeah, okay, so I'm trying to do a no-buy this year, and uh, I am going to try to save much money. But it's going to be some first impressions with palettes that I did receive, like, the last week in 2020, 2021, 2020, 2021, and, yeah, I haven't, it's the 2nd of January. I haven't bought anything yet except for food. Okay, I think I'm just going to do a look and uh, see if Natasha Denona is something for me or not. I think I will try to do something kind of dark. Maybe. And I actually feel I did put up like my top 9 picture on Instagram today and uh, Last year wasn't a good year for me, and this year did not start like super great. I did work the first day of this year, I only worked four hours, so it was not like a full day. But trying to sleep on New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, and I had to be at work at seven. That it's not the easiest thing to do because people, people and fireworks. And it was like, I think I went to bed like half past 12 and uh, the firework did stop. Then they started again like around 2 and then again at like 5 o'clock. And I was so mad when I woke up. I'm going to try to do some new things this year that I haven't done before. And it feels so like, oh, it's a new year, it's a new me. 
but I feel that I really need to change. I really need to do something for myself and like my mental health because how it is now, it's not working. And I've talked about this before. I'm trying to be more open with this because I think I, if I might, if I help some one of you, it's going to make me feel so much better. But yeah, I haven't been, I have been struggling mentally this last year. And I am the only one that has the power to try to change it. I know that and I am like fed up with this shit. I'm, I'm over it. I'm, I'm done crying. I am done feeling sad <laughs> but I also know it's not going to happen like from one day to another. I am totally aware of that and I know that I have to work on myself so yeah I'm going to try to do this, do that this year. And one thing that I don't know if it's going to help but I've been thinking about this and now I'm finally doing it. Uh, I'm going to take a swim or take a bath outside once a week this year and we did started today because it's Sunday when I'm filming this so we went to the ocean and uh, was in the water for maybe like 20 seconds 25 and just so you know I live in Sweden it is winter it was five degrees Celsius out and I think it was around free in the water so yeah uh, and it felt like the first seconds I it felt like I couldn't breathe or like my breath was up here I couldn't take like a deep breath but then I was like okay I'm going to just take it cold so I took maybe two deep breaths and then I was like okay <laughs> we are going up and but it felt I mean, kind of good actually and uh, it's going to be fun to see like how much longer you can be in the water and maybe when it's starting to get like in March it's going to be cold like for a long time because I live by the ocean and I'm going to take my swims in the ocean and the ocean is maybe warm in Sweden in like August so yeah, we will see how this will go. And I also have starting to do meditation. I've talked about this in again friend right with me that you haven't seen when I'm filming this, but I think it will go up before this. And now my battery is starting to get low and I think this memory card is getting full. So do you know what? other memory card is empty I have a fully loaded battery so I'm just going to change that and yeah okay it's not going great for me the memory card is empty but the battery this one's this one was not either fully charged so it's going great okay so far what I think about the Natasha Denona I'm don't know what the hype is all about because this we have other shadows that works like this that isn't expensive like this and now I don't know where I was <laughs> before I started to change battery and everything but yeah I'm going to Try to take better care of myself. Okay, I did use this one, Amara. I think I will try to take this Rebellion. And then I want to take a shimmer, but I don't know, maybe... This looks a little bit too purple, so maybe I take this one. I'm going to take this one first, and my nails, nails, nails look not that good. I need to fix them. And yeah, my New Year's, if you wonder, I was just at home with my boyfriend eating really good food and we watched 
La Casa de Papel. Yeah, you know the Spanish series on Netflix and it was the last season that it's not coming any new one and I think that is good because I I don't think they could like keep up with it and it's not my favorite TV show but yeah it was okay and um, that is what we do this New Year's. We usually don't do that much because I usually work the day after and neither one of us is like a party animal. And um, we also like to be home, <laughs> both of us. Okay, this shadow, I guess this is another formal on this one I know she have some like cream to powder I don't know if this one is that one because it doesn't look like completely matte but I don't think this I think this brush is a little bit too fluffy for this one but it works and I do this shade I did really like the one thing I don't like is that I'm getting older and when I'm taking something in my crease it's like I get wrinkles <laughs> in my crease and it feels so strange this year I will turn 33 yeah I will and it feels so so strange but I've noticed when you have like past I don't know like 25 it it doesn't matter like anymore I couldn't care less about like how old I'm getting and I'm starting to forget how old I am maybe because nothing more fun is happening like in Sweden you're allowed to do you're allowed to drive a car when you are 18 and go out to uh, drink when you are 18 and uh, when you are 20 you are allowed to shop alcohol and when you are 25 you are allowed to get sterilized and then it is done then after that is nothing there is nothing that I can't do I'm old enough for everything so it feels like it's not important anymore and I think I actually will try with this. Hello! Okay, Natasha do know now. Show me what you're made of. Okay. Nothing to complain about here. And uh, if I'm going to talk a little bit about my YouTube channel now in uh, 2022 feels so strange to say 2022 and it feels even more strange to like type it out and sometimes I'm like is it really 2022 or is it 2021 okay this shimmer was really good um but yeah as I said I'm going to try to have a uh, no buy and if you want to see like my progress every week I think on Monday mornings I'm going to post like a tracker in on my insta stories I can leave my insta instagram down here so I'm going to yeah have a tracker on my instagram but I'm also thinking about doing like a monthly update here on my youtube channel maybe do like you get read with me and talk about how it's going and if there has been anything that I've been eager like really wanted to buy and yeah try to do more like no buy or maybe this will turn out to a uh, low buy I don't know but to make more content like that and I'm actually I talked that I wanted to do this last year as well, but it did not happen. But I want to try to 
do more dupe videos. So maybe if there is a new palette that I really really want. But I can't buy it because I am on a no buy. Maybe I can try to dupe it. I actually think that I will try to do that and you know what? I, I do really like this. This shimmer was like at first I was like it feels good but nothing really special but I could really like blend it and play how play with it however I do want to. So maybe Natasha Denone has something. And I do I have so much more to talk about that I can do my base and talk to you at the same time? Maybe I do. So I will just take away the fallouts and I can put on my face primer and maybe my foundation as well. And then we can do the rest things together and my under eyes and um, yeah, I will do that. So I have my foundation on and powder and eyebrows and now I'm just going to use my three of my favorites from Nabla. Um, I did talk about low buy, no buy, I did talk about, it was something that was on my mind. Can't remember what it was right now. That's good. I started to think about something when I was doing my base and I was like, yeah, I want to talk about this one as well. And now when I started the camera, I have no idea what it was. And Ines, she's lying. I don't know if you can see her. Maybe you can see her face there. She's lying, <laughs> sleeping. Just like a long little sausage. But was it something about makeup that I wanted to talk about? Probably, pr probably it was. Yeah, okay. This I have been... It was just a quick thought and then I was like, maybe I should try it. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or if I want to. I did... A palette decluttering and I have around 120 palettes and I was like what if I write down all the palettes I have and then I try to use all the palettes at least once one time a year and if there is some that I haven't used maybe it's time for them to go but I don't know Maybe I feel forced to use a different palette, even though I don't want to. But maybe I should, because it's not impossible. It's not. It is 52 weeks in a year and I usually do my makeup more than two times a year, two times a week. And I could use more than one palette. So maybe I should just try to do that. But if I'm going to, I need to try to do it soon because else it... I can't like wait until March before I decide if I want to do it. But wouldn't it be like cool to actually do that? To like, yeah, 2022, the year that I did use all my palettes in my collection. And maybe like write down all my highlighters and blushes and do the same to see like do I even use them at least once a year. And now my battery is start to run out. And the other one is not fully charged. So maybe I should fix the lost things off cam. I mean we just have to do it. So I'm going to do my under eyes. I would do the same except for the shimmer take something on my lip and put on mascara and something in my wash line give the battery some time to try to get some more use to it and then I come back with the finished look and uh, just end with video I think that might be for the best so now the look is done for my waterline I used a peach fuzz from Colourpop 
on my lips I took a Infinite Lip Gloss from LH Cosmetics in a Dusty Rose. I wanted to take Mellow Mauve but I actually don't know where it is. I think it is in a bag somewhere because I did find Pastel Peach but Mellow Mauve have no idea what it, where it is. And for my lower lash, I did only take Amara, this one that I had in my crease. And in my inner corners, I did take Mood. I don't think it did like super much because it's kind of like my skin tone. <laughs> but it did something. And oh, I have some scores smudges. And yeah, I, I do like this look. I do think the shadows are good. Are they like super amazing, wonderful? No. I did buy this with I think 20 or 25% off. I think it was 20% off. Would I have bought it for full price? No, I wouldn't have done that. But yeah, I think it's good. So... Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay with it, bought it and I think I am happy that I bought this one because I wanted to buy the Sendo. It was between the Sendo and this one but I think this is more unique to my collection than the Sendo palette so yeah, I, I guess that is good. So yeah, that was all for this video. Please let me know what you think about maybe try to use one each and every one of my I counted the palettes now again I have 125 palettes so it isn't impossible to use all of my eyeshadow palettes at least once this year please let me know what you think about that would that be like something fun to see I don't know but yeah, that was everything for this video I really hope that this year will be better for all of us and even if you didn't have a shitty year last year. I think every everything just can be better. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. Ines is sneezing and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!